Our year came to a close on the night of December 10 in Washington, D.C. A big night in the district as superstar Amir Khan had come to town to try to continue his American win streak and continue to solidify his hold on the top spot in the 140-pound weight class before moving on to bigger ambitions. Brimming with confidence, Khan had agreed to come to the district to fight tough Lamont Peterson on his home turf. A decision King Khan may well have regretted as a brilliant fight became a barn burner, Peterson brilliantly rose to the occasion and ultimately a very close decision turned on two penalty point deductions for a foul seldom seen under a rule seldom if ever enforced. Let's go back to the night of December 10 in the convention center in Washington to see how I called it with Larry Merchant and Max Kellerman. Well, one thing becomes clear in this arena, Max, Amir Khan's level of stardom elicits a lot of response, both positive and negative. That's the point. Khan stirs up passion somehow, right? Even the guy, even the folks here who are against him are making a lot of noise. He's obviously a star. And as a star, he's willing to fight everyone in the division. As the money fighter in the division, he ducks no one. He'll even fight a good, dangerous contender like Lamont Peterson in his hometown. Hard shot to the body by Khan. Already he's landed a solid right hand after pushing back to create space and a big time left hook to the body. Khan's hand speed on display. Good left hook and down goes Peterson. The referee has ruled it a slip, was it? Yeah, he's, he got his feet tangled with the ref. So though the punch did land, I think the ref was right to call that a slip. Let's see if this one's gonna be ruled a knockdown. Same place, same left hook. This time it is a knockdown. And in the first round, Khan appeared stronger, faster, more accurate as a puncher. Peterson has been knocked down early in fights before come on, and come back. Listen, that man not slicker than you. You giving him too much credit, son. He's just a man. He's not a guy. This is DC. This is home. You don't let nobody come in your house and take it. Protect this house, boy. Hard right hand by Peterson. Whoa. Right hand, left hook by Khan. Terrific combination. There's a mouse under Khan's left eye. Good right hand by Peterson. Combination of punches by Lamont. He's having a big round. Now a good right hand upstairs. That got Khan's attention. Peterson picking the right night to be special. Quite a fight. Quite a round. All right, right hand by Khan over the top. Oh, they are giving as good as they're getting on both sides. Stop pushing. Stop pushing. Landing some big shots right there. Good left hook by Peterson upstairs. Khan comes back with a three-punch combination. There's a body shot for Khan, and an uppercut, and a left hook to the body. Khan was landing some vicious body punches this round. Hell of a fight so far. No filibuster in this ring. I already want to see the rematch. Another big right hand for Peterson. Khan pointing to his chin. Always needs to tag me. Here's where a whole town advantage comes in. Rest taking the point away for pushing. He's warned Khan several times. Here's the point deduction. The ref had warned Khan at least twice about this. Pushed off with his forearm again. Uh, I don't know if that's a point deduction, even if you did get two warnings. It was already a big round for Peterson, and that truly narrows the scorecards here in Washington. We've got drama with five rounds to go. It's been a seesaw battle, and here Khan comes out fast. I think he may have hurt Peterson. Peterson's shaking no. A lot of times that means yes with a right uppercut. Ooh. Uppercuts and body shots. That's what's been doing it for Peterson. A huge right cross on the chin. You want to know who's winning the exchanges? Just look at which fighter's insisting no, I wasn't hurt. That guy's losing the exchange. There's the fighting spirit of Khan again. What a rally. What a fight. I don't know who's going to get that round, but we all won. 10-8 fans. 
There'll be no partying on our floor tonight. How bad you want this, man? Carl, how bad you want this, son? You got to show me. Sure, that one dude down the middle. Just put him on his ass this time, okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's Three minutes, okay? There's nothing left to have in three minutes, okay? He's not, he's going, put it on him, okay? Give me three minutes. Give me three minutes, you'll be checked. Three minutes, you'll be checked. Amir Khan trying to hold on to the perceived top spot in the 140-pound weight class. Lamont Peterson trying to reward his home fans. Khan bravely came to Washington to fight a Washington fighter and may be paying the price. Not hard to imagine with the fight's on the line right now. Keep your hand up, man. Keep your hand up. Let's see if this is going to be another penalty or a discussion. Another penalty point against God. Two points have been taken away from Amir Khan for pushing a penalty we don't think we've seen anywhere in a long time. Look, he has been pushing, but if this fight was taking place in Great Britain and the ref was calling something like that on an American fighter, what would we all think? He's got to win this round now. He needs to keep winning it to have a chance to hold on to his two titles and his dominion in the 140-pound weight class and his superstar status. This is a dramatic scene. Will Lamont Peterson finally reach the top of the mountain here in his hometown from homelessness to champion? Will Amir Khan regret his brazen choice to come here and fight Lamont Peterson on his home turf in Washington, D.C., when as the headliner with the bargaining power, he didn't really have to do that? Knockdown that wasn't a knockdown. Point deductions that shouldn't have been point deductions, but in between there was great action the whole way. Whale of a fight. Michael Buffer has the scores in his hand. Let's go to him. We go to the scorecards. 113, 112, Peterson. 114, 111, Khan. 113, 112, and new. Victory he's been waiting for for a long, long time. It feels so good for Lamont Peterson to have come all this way. You can't help but feeling that Khan got jobbed.